Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 3 of this low-rise condo building. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to mirror the ones that we created for part 1. And when we mirrored it, you were able to start the middle unit. So we're going to continue working on this. And as you can see, we were able to create the kitchen, dining, and the first bedroom. And the washroom here with washer and dryer on this spot. So now we can actually just copy this. So I'm going to remove this for now. And this one, I'm just going to delete this. And we could change this one to a bigger size. You know what? We could let's undo that and just keep it with this one. And let's copy the TV. And copy this. And obviously, if you're doing your project, you can find or recreate your own family so that it will suit your design or your plan better. So here I'm just using the default families that we have or that you can insert in Revit so that you can start and practice creating your buildings. So now, as you can see, we need to add a wall here. So I'm just going to add in a wall for now. And then let's add more wall. And then we're gonna edit it afterwards. Because it's easy to just use the arrow key than to have it precise. Although it's gonna work, but you have more room or more freedom to do this. I'm going to add this one here and maybe we could just delete this. So slice this one and then trim. Instead of this, I'm going to use this. And 
and then let's add in the top and then nudge this give it more room so that we could add the toilet and then after that we could add in this one let's add in two and use this thin line and rectangle something like that add in your door so that we could pull this down something like that and then add in another door for this entrance And then we could use this one, sliding door, if this is too small you can make it bigger like that and don't forget the demo, uh, the, this line to add more detail. Looking good. Just double check if we're missing something. So far, we're good. And then now let's add in so, uh, our room tag. So we just need to separate this first okay so now we could click this room and then click on all caps and double click on this storage kitchen washroom dryer Bedroom one, living area, dining area, master's bedroom. W dot ice. Uh, see 
walk-in closet, and then entry. So just double check. If you want to move it, just click on it, and then you can move it to the area that you want to put. So I'm just double checking that I added all the doors that I need. So let's add in a sliding door here. So go to insert, load family, and double sliding door. Select everything. and then go to door let's add it here on this spot So let's look at it at 3D. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in some curtain wall. So here, go to wall. And then drop down and then curtain wall. We're going to add a curtain one right here so for now let's add it like that And you know what? We're going to flip it so that it's near the exterior wall. We're also going to add it here. And we're going to add it here as well. Just a small one. So I want to look at it at south elevation. Actually, let's go to 3D and then we need to cut geometry first. So select the wall. So go to modify, cut geometry, select the wall, and then select the curtain wall. So it looks like it look like this. Now we we just need to determine the height. So let's lower it down. So I think that's good. We need to add some gap. So what you can do is AL and 
you will need to select the height that you want and then do it like that so I want to copy this to this one so for this height and then I'm going to pull this out Go back to level 2, I want to give it some so that's good enough. So this is good. I like it. So I could mirror this as well. And before that, I could actually add, I'm going to pull this down as well, EL. And the one there. But instead, I want to copy this height. So this is good enough. So now we could go in, go to south elevation, and before we mirror it, let's add curtain grid. I'm just going to put it in the middle. And with this one as well. After that, I need to select it. So hold on shift, sorry, hold on control button. And then let's mirror. So the warning is we still have to cut it on site. So we need to do the cut geometry again. So let's do that, go to 3D, 
and modify in cartiometry. After that, go to Architecture and select Mullion, All Grid, and let's change this to 50 by 65. And select all of it. If you zoom in, you will see that there's millions in the curtain wall now. Also, I want to go to South Elevation again. And I want to add one more. Actually, for the, from the looks of it, I want to add two actually. So I'm going to copy this again. and 3200 let's pull this up so one two we have a final or our penthouse here and we still have level one and then don't forget to go to view plan view floor plan and then Let's add in level 6 and 5. So I have 5 already and then 6 here. So that's good. Now let's go back to level 2. So actually in the next video, we're going to mirror this and then add floors. So we're going to stop here for now. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.